Hello everyone, and welcome to our next race in the Link to the Past Randomizer League Week 2. We've got Clifford versus Finally on here. Team We're Bad at Team Names versus the Missing Links. Uh, so far we got Team We're Bad at Team Names at 6 points, Missing Links at 3. Gonna be a, another good race here today. I'm JP, I'm joined by Sinek. Or Sinek. <laughs> I, was, I get your name wrong sometimes. <laughs> it's all right. I, I've been called everything, and it doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> anyway, I'm Sinek. Uh, I am actually one of Clifford's team members. I'm on team. We're bad at team names as well, so can't be completely unbiased here, but I'll do my best. I think it's kind of better to have uh, people who know these runners, because even if you're a bit biased, you can give us more information on them. Like, I know that Clifford is a big red dog, and I know that Phileon is not a big red dog. You know? Phileon is like a unicorn. <laughs> no, Phileon is Phileon. That's true. <laughs> he also might be a small blue cat, according to his file name. <laughs> but, um, quick rundown of Ambrosia for those of you who don't know this, if you haven't been watching this week. Uh, as you can see, both runners have a split they'll start with. As soon as we start, we'll get a boot synth. And as well, every boss will have a non-dungeon item. Um, could just be 10 arrows, could be a unique item. We'll have to see. Yeah, it will be something that you'll want to keep in the back of your head as you're routing through a dungeon. It could be pretty helpful um, in situations, let's say you're going through Eastern. By the way, uh, boots are in Death Mountain today. Not bad. Probably won't take you too long to get up there. But there's All some right. different footwear. <laughs> Alright, so they're off. So this is just going to be a standard open. Uh, it's a shirt sword, so our runners already have a sword. We're getting also a green pendant at Desert, another pendant at Hera, and our fine, I know one of our crystals is in fact at uh, Eastward. Finally, I had to double check that. Let's see what the uncle has. Since it's a guaranteed sword, it could be anything. He's got bombs. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, we're not we're not uh, farming guards. And so, it's a little ammo to start. So the first six minutes of this is basically all execution. Just You just basically do the exact same thing every time. Sometimes you might get something like a mirror to save you a little time, but beyond that, these first six minutes are basically the, the same every single seed. So as both of our runners are running through Hyrule Castle, so during Ambrosia, there's going to be, um, so like the big thing, right, is the guaranteed item on the boss. Not necessarily because it's a guaranteed non-dungeon item, but it can really affect how you route the dungeon. For example, um, if you've already found two items in the Eastern Palace and the vanilla big key chest room um, is left and then the boss, you know that you can skip that chest. Like, it's like the small things like that, that that can, if you're paying attention to it in this mode, can put you ahead of your opponent. Yeah, little, little, little things like that. Just saving you a few extra seconds, which could always come into play. We've seen races decided by a matter of seconds. So, just a chat. Yes, this is Clifford. He, it's like the, I think this is like the first time I've seen him race in a pretty, pretty long time. I managed to drag him into this. He's a, he, he's he's a pretty nice guy though. If you ever get to meet him in person, say they finally on though. He's pretty nice too. I rode a roller coaster with him. Yeah, they're both great guys. Um, Clifford, I know, has been racing more on the side. He does, you know, more casual things. Um, I, I guess not even race, just plays on the side more. And Phileon does a little bit more. See him around a little more. Yeah, 
I think both of them kind of, they both have good NMG times as well, so execution-wise, they're both pretty solid. And it looks like Clifford is going to just be a few seconds ahead of Phileon right now. Really yeah. turn his way through Hyrule Castle. Yeah, but uh, Phileon has also done his map check already. That's true. He did two of them. He had to make super certain. Yeah, he did. <laughs> So with bombs, they'll be able to clear everything. They don't need to really farm in any enemies. Just head straight to the back room. What do you do, uh, Phileon? Push <laughs> to the right, not forward. So one th other thing they mentioned to us before this race they wanted us to bring up is that they do have a gentleman's agreement on what they can and can't do. <laughs> I think they said they sent this info to you as well, Sinek. Ah, <laughs> uh, let me look that up here. As we find a cape. Uh, you never want to see a cape early. I can just say if you if you don't have it. Clifford going for the key rat. Got that on his way upstairs. We'll see what's in the back of escape here in just a second. What do we got in the back? We have a map, a piece of heart, and a piece of heart. <laughs> Overall, these two have been about equal in the escape. Like I said, uh, Fireland's done his map check. Clifford will probably do it right after getting out of here. All right, I now know what the gentleman's agreement was. We'll have to see if it comes into play. Oh, there's a glove, though. That's pretty nice. That's uh, that's one piece of our Dark World access puzzle. Clifford's on his way over to Kakariko, finally on right behind him. Both at two bombs. You want three for Kakariko, but you'll probably find it out there somewhere in there. Looks like you got a little divergence. Clifford's gonna go check Lumberjack, and finally on's heading straight into Dark World. Or Darkwood. Or Lost Woods. <laughs> oh no, Clifford's climbing the mountain. Uh. Or. He. Is he gonna? Yeah, he's... Oh man. This is, this is a crazy play. I love it. Well, finally, I find some money. <laughs> yeah, this is... I mean, it's a, it's a nice heads-up play. You've got a sword, you got got gloves. You can make this climb really easily. The only thing is, you've only got two items you can, you're going to get up here. Whatever the old man gives you, plus whatever is in Spectacle Rock Cave. You'll get info on a third as well. Oh, I, I get why Fi or Clifford's doing this. That boots hint. He's just hoping that one of the items he can get up here is the boots. Ah, I like this. I have a feeling, though, it's probably an East Death Mountain. But. Yeah, item, item density would say it's over there, but if he comes up with those boots, he'll have a little bit of an advantage early. And worst case, he still has the save and quit point. It's not on Spec Rock. Ooh, there's a mirror. I was that just a red twenty? Yeah. Uh, I missed it. <laughs> yeah, it was a red twenty. I thought for a second it looked like some Mario. Oh no, it's the red meringue. Okay. <laughs> but we do have a mirror now. Alright, good. Which and... 
that's going to help finally on. He's going to save a little time when he goes up Death Mountain now. Clifford's trying what we call the Kakariko skip. <laughs> I mean, sometimes it's the play. Nothing wrong with this whatsoever. Yeah, if he finds something like the flute, he'll save a little time in Kakariko. I mean, he'll eventually Kak check it. Yeah, Kak well just had trash in it. I could see Glifford maybe grabbing those bombs so he has a few more. Maybe? No. Nope. Alright. He's out of there. He does know the bushcrab has bombs as well. Oh, that's true. Well, didn't want him. He's got six. He's fine for now. <laughs> Phileon goes for the risky chicken clip. <laughs> Phileon, were you really trying to to uh, chest do a chest turn? I saw that. You notice that, like, finally on, like, backed away from the chest and then went and actually opened it. He was trying to do a trick where if you, you can hit, uh, you can open up the chest and push downward on the same frame and you'll churn and still open the chest. Um, it's a swag strat. There's really nothing, <laughs> there's a real good reason to do it. But if you fail it, then you just kind of look like that. Well, Phileon did get a book in that chest. That is true. So, so that lets you at least get in the desert, but he's still far from clearing it. But an early book could mean something on Desert Ledge or in the portion of desert you can check. Of course, more often than not, book just takes you somewhere you don't want to go. <laughs> All right, Clifford, oh, go ahead. Uh, Clifford's giving us Sahasrala. Phileon is going for this. Did he scout this first, or is he just doing it blind? He's doing it blind. All right. Just 20 bucks. Money in a bug net on Clifford's side. And... Yeah. So, in interestingly enough, though, another check that could have come into play... We got book, we got mirror. Ether tablet could have something if there's another sword sitting out there. Potentially, and Phileon is in a position to at least scout that if he decides to do Death Mountain. Um, right now, it'd be all out of logic. And Clifford continues the interesting routing, checks a Harsal, and then gonna do flipper checks. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you just gotta pull up the more unconventional plays. <laughs> I love this routing. I don't know why. Maybe I'm biased. Well, let's see if it pays off. Got Clifford doing some new checks as finally ends going over Clifford's checks already. Some more bombs. Clifford will probably have money for Zora. Assuming that uh, we get a little lucky. Now, if he had a boomerang, he could stun an enemy and check the stun prize. <laughs> You know, he's swimming his way over to Ice Rod Cave. Which is likely where Phileon is also going to go. He'll be able to farm up some Zora money here. So he could he could grab 80 more rupees uh, from the cave here. Yep, can lift that big rock. There's 20 rupees in there. And do that as many times as you want. I think 
I think Phileon probably has the same idea. Except, uh, Clifford? Yeah, he's just gonna go. I mean, do you think he'll, like, spend the time to farm? Nah, he's getting out of there. No, I think he was more just, if I get, like, 100 rupees here, I'll go farm it quick. Clifford, though, is gonna go up to Zora area. If Zora's got something, he might not get it unless he gets a rupee drop up here. We've already seen two of our 300 packs as well. Piece of heart. And it sounds like just a little bit of money. Uh, yeah. The screen's That's frozen, but we can tell from the audio. Well, he's going to be able to scout this item. Let's say he just got a blue rupee. Getting out of there. Alright, so finally on definitely has Zora money now. Alright, where are you going, Clifford? I think now he's gonna go do Kakariko. <laughs> Kinda take like the south route upwards. Yep. And <laughs> Phileon is going to we know that there's two items that are available. The third one is going to be bow locked in Eastern Palace, but still a couple items to go for, so not that bad. At least one item will be in Logic. There is a chance the second is not. But you can get it. I mean, the good news, though, for Phylon, he knows this, is that once he finds two items, he can just bail out of here. Though, that, that compass is not a good sign. Yeah, that's that's generally not a good sign right there. Like, like the ideal scenario would be is that you have, like, a piece of junk in the big chest, and then the big key probably in the big chest, or in the big key. That way, you don't have to do any of that. Well, the ideal situation would be that the big key chest has junk, actually, but... There's a lamp. All right, that's, uh, that's Aga Access. <laughs> oh my goodness. But that also could be a clearable desert. Green Penny yeah. Desert. <sighs> At this point, I mean, do you like invest five minutes into Aga, or do you go into a pendant dungeon? Not yet, because you don't have Moon Pearl. True. If you had Moon Pearl, the Aga question's a little looming a little more. But no Moon Pearl, you're going to keep pushing Light Worlds. Okay. So that was a big key. This next chest, um, we'd be looking for an item in here. All right, so he's done. He's going to get yep. out. Map will be in the big key chest, and Armos has the other item. Chat also point out, yes, Hera is clearable as well. Two of our three pendant dungeons are already clearable. Crazy. Well, Desert's clearable if boots are not needed. <laughs> it's true. Phileon's going to make the climb up Death Mountain now. And he'll be able to do a little bit more than Clifford was able to do because of that mirror. He'll be able to check the Ether Tablet, won't get, be able to get what's on it. And he can also go into Hera. I mean, EDM likely has our boots, and that's still going to be... Uh, inaccessible until we either find Hookshot or Hammer. So, uh, just a kind of a small recap uh, for those just joining us and don't know what Ambrosia is. Uh, Ambrosia basically is like three primary things. One, um, 
one uncle hinted to us where the boots are at. It gives us like a general region. In this case, he told us it was in Death Mountain. Two, the boss always has a dungeon, a dungeon or a non-dungeon item, which is important for routing. And three, it's a standard uh, sword assured. They started off with a sword to start off. I think we're getting a pet check. My goodness. Well, I mean, Clifford now knows that there's two accessible pendants. But let's well, let's see. Oh boy. Nope. Couch cash. Nothing. <laughs> oh, I would have been the play though. But like, so here's the thing though, is that. Ambrosia also kind of takes some of the sting out of out of doing pendants and fully clearing them. Because you know like you're gonna get an item off the boss anyway. It's not like you're just doing a pendant dungeon and killing a pendant boss for like literally nothing. You're at least doing a check. That so. is true. Yeah, finally I'm heading up to Zora. We're gonna see what Zora had that Clifford left behind. As Clifford's heading to Hera. Most likely by way of the ether tablet. Finally, and also trading his green potion for a normal bee. <laughs> that, that, that bunny sprite. So good. What's on there? Red buff, uh, red potion. So, so as Clifford goes into Hera, we'll find out did Clifford leave something behind on Zora? Is finally and about to get an advantage. All right, Zora, what you got for us? <laughs> <laughs> I have your green potion back. <laughs> well, there. Uh, we did see a, an item on Clifford's side. That means he can go straight to Moldorm at this point. <laughs> that's the great thing about Ambrosia. I think that's why it's so popular, right? You can make like some heads up routing decisions that you normally don't get to make. Yeah. It's like, I know I have one item. Let's we'll go ahead and go mode the rest of this. By the way, I think their gentleman this agreement is not going to come into play because it's the, the potential didn't happen. So yeah. I think we can just talk about it now. They had made a gentleman's agreement to not hair a pot. <laughs> but there's no, there's no hair a pot opportunity here. <laughs> But I think I think Clifford would love. To, and finally, when he gets here, they'd love to see either a hook shot or a hammer right now on Moldorm. There's our Dark World map. Last pendant in Turtle Rock, I believe I saw red crystals at Mire and Swamp. Oh, that was a poke. Oh, uh, in this one, it doesn't really matter between pokes and swings. They do the same damage. Oh, yeah. Poke, swing, spins, they all do the same with Fighter Sword. Just a piece of heart and a pendant that we know we don't need. So, Desert Palace? I, I want to say that's probably the next step. Um... Either that, or this is something like really ridiculous, like Moon Pearls on Pyramid Ledge or something. Uh, that would be a last location, Desert Palace, right? Pretty Before... much. I mean, Clifford still has Zora as well. Yeah. But I mean, you've got two guaranteed items out in deserts between the Desert Ledge and 
uh, Agana. You also have potentially another two items in desert, depending on what you can clear. Three items, actually, if you can full clear it because of green pendants. So you've got a five item desert sitting there potentially right now. Let me see, see what's on the torch. Yeah, it's it, gonna... two to five, essentially. That's right. Clifford didn't get the lamp yet. Oh yeah, he has not been into Eastern, so he cannot clear this. I mean, I guess for for Clifford's sake, I I hope that what what he needs isn't locked behind that lamp. Well, we'll find out pretty quick if this is boots locked. If the first chest has anything other than a key, this is boots locked. Right. Drum roll, please. Right. Okay, we're, just, we're not boots locked yet. All right, and finally on takes down Moldorm claims his piece of heart. Okay, this is not a boots locked desert. Clifford could have could have full, full cleared this if he had gotten that lamp. Finally, on if he comes over here, we can full clear this. There's a master sword. Oh boy. Uh, can't go out that way, Clifford. <laughs> So the other item is on Lanmo. But we're also going to get take a look at Agina. Yep. That, that sword really doesn't do a whole lot for us. Except just, at least right now. So, this... I think Clifford's kind of kind of hoped that Agina has something. Because if the next piece of the puzzle is on Len Mola's, Phylan's about to take a big lead. <laughs> this is looking like Phylan's about to take a big lead. <laughs> I mean... Now I'm really curious to see what's on Lanmo and Saha. It could still be nothing. Yeah. Um, that's the thing. We have the Aga access. It still could be Moon Pearl on Pyramid. <laughs> that would be pretty wild. I haven't actually seen a Moon Pearl Pyramid in actually a while. Just I see a whole lot of nowadays. I had one in a practice seat recently. <laughs> oh, nice. And it 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 almost always is going to be a last location moon pearl if that happens. So, if you ever get a moon pearl on pyramid, you don't feel bad because <laughs> it uh, it's very unlikely anybody gambles that. <laughs> Alien's got his master sword. He can go kill Lanmo. Well, Clifford's gonna get his bottle here. He's got to go into Eastern and get a lamp. Which might make him a little angry, because it'll send him uh, back to desert. <laughs> Though, what's he... Is he going to check Lumberjack? I don't know what else he'd be doing over here right now. I thought he already scout... No, he never scouted it, that's right. He, We thought he was going to. 
Did he skip Bottle Vendor? No, I think he spent rupees on Bottle Vendor. Uh, no, I think it's Sick Kid. Ah, okay. Which I not I don't think filing on Check Sick Kid either. He probably had bottle. a bottle in CAC, so I thought he did. Maybe. No, it was nothing um, if he did. <laughs> okay. So. Alright, this Lamo fight's gonna be interesting. Is it. Is there something on Lamo? Is there something on Green Pendant? I am doing some bomb strats. So, a uh, landmill with Master Sword. The slashes do Fighter Sword damage, but the spins will do Tempered Sword. There is really no Master Sword damage cute, uh, uh, coded into this one because uh, Fighter Sword spins do Fighter Sword damage as well. Just a red rupee, but there's the green pendant. All right. What do you have for Hassan? If Saha doesn't have Moon Pearl or something that gives us more progression, then the next piece of the puzzle is on the pyramid. This would be the last location of ages. I think it's going to check Agina first. Yeah, I think it is worth mentioning. The next piece of the puzzle is not necessarily Moon Pearl. If something's on Pyramid, it could it could be something like Hookshot or Hammer to send us back to Light World. <laughs> Alright, so Clifford's going to find his lamp. He's... Yeah, he's going to have to go find the other item. Fortunately, it's a pretty friendly layout. Uh, no, he's going to skip the second item. Fortunately, it's nothing is, terrible. Is Phileon going straight to Aga? Uh, I think it's Aga time. Did he not turn in... He, he did the... not turn in the green pendant. Wow. And Clifford is following suit. But Clifford's like, I've had enough of this, this progression hunt here. All right, so if the item's on the pyramid, this race is pretty even. If the item is on green pendants, Phileon's got a lead. Assuming he remembers to turn it in. Yeah, this, this got interesting, folks. So this is basically a... A NMG climb. You got a little bit more health, but beyond that, this is an NMG climb right here. <laughs> like, no item to really give you a little extra damage. You are missing a boomerang that you'd normally have for the climb, but that's about it. So. I mean, if you're these runners, how are you feeling right now? <laughs> like the goose just stole your progression item? In that one game that we don't talk about much. <laughs> Hashtag honk. Valiant's making really good work through this. Clifford's right behind him, though. This is kind of a big moment in the race right here. If you're rooting for Clifford, you want something on Pyramid. If you're rooting for Phileon, you want something on that green pendant. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Ooh, Clifford's down to a heart and a half. So I think what happened was Philion realized he was down to one item, right? So that that he needs for Dark World access. Well, he needs two items for Dark World access: the Moon Pearl and then either Emits or uh, or Hammer, right? And there's only one place that's available. So the odds are very likely that Agil was required anyway. Anyway, uh... yeah, there is a risk to that though, because say the hook shot or the hammer was on yeah. Saha, then this might be unnecessary. <laughs> we got our Aga fights. Right now, Clifford is only about 20 seconds behind. We got two blue balls so far. So as a reminder, blue balls are seated, so they'll both get the same. is being a little nicer here after the second one. Only two blue balls. Here comes the moment of truth. All right. Is it pyramid? No, no. it's not. It's on the green pendant. <laughs> I like this robot by Phileon. This is actually kind of smart. He's going to check green pendant on his way to pod. And Clifford's going to get the bad news here. Chet confused if Phileon's in bunny form. He, he is. <laughs> What are you doing, Phileon? <laughs> it's not the place you mirror. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nope. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> uh, there is a... It's, it, it's in the maze. The covered maze up here is the optimal place to mirror. <laughs> that works, though. <laughs> All right, what does Green Pendant Saharasula have? <laughs> Clifford. He's going oh, back God. in. Oh! All right, well. Oh, my. All right, so Clifford's going back in for the second item. And then he's probably going to go back to Desert. This is not good for him. Now, that hook shot, well, by itself, no, the hook shot's got to lead to something else in the light world. I was about to say, the hook shot gives you some dark world access. It's going to lead to boots. Well, we know that he's going to, Cliff, uh, Phileon's going to find boots here really soon. It's probably in Paradox Cave. Could that hint refer to Dark Death Mountain, though? No, uh, it's basically based on, the, so, like, in the spoiler log, where you see, like, the region... It's for each location in the spoiler log. It's based off of that. Ah, okay. And Death Mountain is its own region for whatever reason. Um, in uh, in the Dark World, all of those locations in Death Mountain, Dark Death Mountain, are considered as part of the Dark World. All right. Anything else up here? Boots do open a couple spots. There's a flute that... <laughs> Ice Rod. <laughs> a flute doesn't open anything yet, though. Oh, and mitts. And mitts. Oh, my goodness. Aga was not required. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, Aga, yeah, that Aga play was a complete misnomer. Oh, my goodness. Now, I was filing on, right? I was like, hey, did Clifford actually go and do this? 
Did my opponent do that? I would I would feel like in a really bad position, but that's me. It's like, did I waste five minutes on aggro one? Now, uh, Pier Mo or Moon Pro might not be here. It could be in Checkerboard Cave too. <laughs> But there oh, it is. <laughs> there we go. So even though Filian's leading, he probably feels behind right now. It's like, yeah, that, that hook shot was key. <laughs> On oh, that book animation, it's the howling. It's... I love that sprite so much. I'm flipping side now. Got a vanilla stun prize, single rupees. Chat is bringing up one thing. If Lumberjack has something, then Aga could still have been required. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much on life support, though. I could see maybe finally on checking it at some point here during the midst of his uh, Dark World checks, doing a mirroring and checking that, but he doesn't um... really see an urgency to do that right now. We're... I'm a little surprised he didn't check right there, but... Uh, he must have something to... Yeah, he like, can get back to it pretty easily. Yeah, because like he's going to have access to Dark uh, Village of Outcasts area here really quick. Oh, he's going to check it now. Okay, he's going to flute after this. That's why he did it. But yeah, this is the last possibility that uh, Aga would have been required for. <laughs> And nope, it was not needed. <laughs> oh, we're finally coming right back up Death Mountain. We'll say they're gonna check Dark Death Mountain. Um. A little surprised he just didn't do this when he was up here the first time. Probably just didn't think about it. Yeah, it, it can be like in a situation where you're kind of excited to find like a bunch of progression. And you just completely space it off. Or uh, I'll get finally on the benefit of the doubt here. He's probably galaxy brain something. Well, there's Clifford grabbing the green pendant. He just has to go to Saha and get his hook shot. <laughs> Still plenty of race, race left, so plenty of time for Clifford to catch up. <laughs> Bow and powder. I can what? finish Eastern and get one item off of Armos. Could also go into pod, but no hammer, can't finish it. Doing hookshot cave, not much in here. Oof. Getting denied by that berry. <laughs> that last one loves to do that. <laughs> Clifford's got his hookshot. Alright. And then he's gonna go ahead and find all the deets here in Death Mountain. And... Quake is required for Turtle Rock. Well, at least by clearing Aga, they did make sure to pick up that Quake medallion. Finally, I'm going for Spike Cave. He's not going to have much health. He does have a green potion. <laughs> I 
think that plus half. Yeah. Or... Why mirror there? <laughs> what are you doing? See, he, he's giving up on it. Oh, he can't do it. He doesn't have hammer. <gasps> That's right. The more you know. Meyer Medallion is Ether. As Clifford picks up his boots. <laughs> There's the red cane. Okay. Interestingly enough, that does open Turtle Rock. But never mind. Nope. No, I'm wrong. Hammer. <laughs> Clifford's getting the deets. Don't skip Spike Cave, Clifford. Be thorough. You mean Spiral Cave. <laughs> oh, same. Not the same difference. They're both caves, though. They have an item in them. Yes, they are. <laughs> so, finally, on hitting the Dark Worlds, Village of Outcasts. Steve's Town play most likely incoming. Um, in terms of dungeons you can complete, you've got Thieves Town. You might have to skip an item though. I think Ice Palace is full clearable. <laughs> you know, Ambrosia actually makes it actually improves the odds that that big chest doesn't have an item that you care about. So that's kind of like that's kind of an advantage there. All right, and Clifford is going to go ahead and start doing Dark EDM. Maybe? He's... What are you doing? Um, not sure. <laughs> if you're going oh, yeah. to go Turtle Rock Portal, you don't have Hammer. Keep forgetting the hammer. Like I was saying, ice palace is clearable, but no, it's not. You don't have hammer. <laughs> yeah, I think you. I think Clifford realizes. Yeah, he has to take the southern route here. I, I like where he was thinking. He was thinking about opening Turtle Rock, but yep. yeah, no hammer. You can't do that. <laughs> not having hammer this late into a seed just messes with your mind. <laughs> Because you forget all the little things you need hammer for. <laughs> Dare I say that we're going to have like a hammer go? It's possible. We're three items from it. Fire rod, ether, hammer. Yeah. I mean, Clifford just found his bow. Has powder. It's going to go clear out hookshot cave. Probably also, he's also probably going to scout out TR as well. Uh, Phyline's giving us some new checks, though. He's going to do Smith Chain. What are you talking about? Hey, sorry. I'm sorry. Chat's pointing out all my, uh, my uh, stupid mistakes of talking about ice. No fire, either. Violin's going to leave his portal behind here. Not, didn't even pick up the purple chest, which is surprising. Hit the purple chest right there. Could have grabbed it. Alright, so Clifford now knows it's Quake for TR. He's going to go ahead and check his pendants and crystals. Is he gonna? He must not. Did he scout the? Uh, I maybe not. He must not have. I don't remember what's up there. I don't think it was anything though. No, it was. No, it was, it was blue cane. Oh. Which, which you don't really need because you got a cape. <laughs> maybe he just wants the safety. That's fine. Oh. I think he didn't scout it. I think he... 
he kind of just stood there for a second. I think he was uh, processing it. So with finally and not really finding anything in these checks he's been doing, it's given Clifford a, a chance to catch up a bit. There's our fire rod. Still no hammer. So... Fire rod in Thieves Town. Which means... Yeah, we're just, we're on an ether hunt, and then hammer. This could easily be a hammer go. Or a drawn-out ether hunt. Which is a common theme this tournament. Yeah, you want ether before hammer right now. Because ether before hammer is a nice go mode. Hammer before ether and you're almost full clearing the world looking for ham or for ether <laughs> worst place for ether right now would be turtle rock uh, hashtag shutters I wasn't paying attention to the front of Thieves, but chat says three items in the front? I think so. I don't think you found any dungeon items except the big key. Well, if he didn't he find any have other... a... He doesn't have a small key for sure. Yeah, he doesn't have... Yeah. We'll have to see when he menus here. By the way, this is a check that uh, Farland didn't do on Clifford's side. He skipped King's Tomb. Ten bucks. In a Zelda one, yes, that would be ten bucks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ten arrows. Yep, there's bombs. You're good. <laughs> Finally, I was like um, panicking Chad... for a second. <laughs> yep. Chad made All the right. point of trying to, to highlight a message to tell me Ice Palace is clearable. Nope, it's not. No hammer. <laughs> Not clearable. I'm, I'm sorry, I find it funny that someone highlighted a message to tell us that. <laughs> hey, you know, I consider that a solid use of channel points. At, at Megawatt. The, the, the problem when you do that is you better make sure you're correct, otherwise you're calling attention to yourself. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not trying to be mean to the person who did that. I'm just kind of laughing about it. <laughs> I think Phileon uh, autopiloted just for a second there. <laughs> Clifford picks up his Samaria. <laughs> Alright, and we got ourselves some... Um, we say it even on the stream? I don't think we can call it that. The, uh, the Bright Blind, we'll just call it that. Boomerang. Oh, Clifford does take it. And there's Hammer. <laughs> there's... Wow. <laughs> That is all right. Uh, so everybody, just kind of grab yourselves like something to drink on this fine Saturday night because uh, we're on an ether hunt. About as bad as a nice rod hunt. <laughs> oh my! I mean, right now, like what Fileman's gonna do is just plow through crystal dungeons, basically. Yeah, he's going straight to Skullwoods with the fire rod. He just got out of Thieves Town. Yeah, he knows. So he knows. Uh, so he knows Mako is gonna have an item, right? So he's just gonna like this beeline to the back half here, and then I 
So this could be the equalizer. If this if this ether hunt really drags on. Well finally I got one item in Skull Wood, so he knows the second is on Mothula. The only place we can for sure say either will not be is in Mire or in Pyramid Fairy. Or in GT. <laughs> yeah, like you said, um, at this point, Phylan, he's going to... He's going to push crystals as much as he can. Mm -hmm. After this, most likely he's going to go to Eastern, then Pod. Or no, he's going to do Pod, then Eastern, most likely. Then he's got Ice Palace. So it's a crystal rush for finally on for a bit. There's Mothula, and it has some blueberries. 55 minutes, that's finally on second crystal. Yeah, we ended up spending just a bunch of time... Like, most of our time in this race was really just spent in the light world, trying to get access to the dark world. Yes, it was. Like, once we got to EDM, like, everything just opened up. And finally, I was gonna get the news about what's on pedestal. Also gonna go ahead and read it in its native Hylian. I think Hylian might have actually studied and learned to decipher ancient Hylian. No, if anybody was going to, it's gonna be Hylian. I think you might know uh, some Elvish from Lord of the Rings, too. <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm just I'm kind of making stuff up at this point. <laughs> Rhett, uh, what? We're gonna, we, have, we have Chuck Norris facts, and we're going to have Phileon facts here. All right, finally on continuing his crystal push, heading into pod. Now, if you're finally in at this point, you still do you still feel behind? And if you do, do you worry that your crystal push might potentially play right into your opponent's hands? I mean. I'd feel behind if I last location to a progression item like Hookshot. So. Yeah. And also did an unneeded Aga clear. Yep. Yeah. You're, you're kind of like, well, if Clifford decided not to do Aga, you know, that's like five minutes that he has on top of me. Now, Phylian finds an early big key, we might see him go straight to Helmosaur. Clifford's starting a more traditional blind fight. <laughs> a blind fight that doesn't make you blind. <laughs> got kind of messed up, but he'll be all right. E so Clifford's got the hammer. Now it's... Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. No. So then there's some half magic for finally on. Um, he'll, he didn't check the vanilla big key, ch the vanilla big key chest, but we now know it's a small key. 
Clifford might do some overworld that Farlian hasn't done yet, which if Clifford finds Ether in one of these overworld checks that Farlian didn't do, he is going to be in a pretty big advantage. This could be some divergence that Clifford needs. I do believe Filean did check Dig Game. Yeah, he did. So Clifford's also going to save the Smith. But he'll be able to do the Peg Game. He can check the, the purple chest that Filean didn't check. Oh my, if Ether is in that purple chest. That, that would actually be big news for Clifford because that's pretty well isolated for Phileon right now. Like, the hammer pegs might bring him back over here, but... Or the hammer pegs. I don't think he checked those. He did not. He he did, uh... He turned into Smith and did the magic powder before going into Thieves. Alright, it is not hammer pegs. Not come up in pod so far for Phileon. And this is a full clear pod. Item look lo item layout did not let you speed through this at all. Finally start pushing the statue, but he doesn't need to. Alright, moment of truth. He's going back for purple chest. No, he's Maybe. not. <laughs> uh, I guess, uh... He's leaving purple chest behind as well. He's gonna do northern checks. <laughs> If either sitting in Hype Cave, I'm going to laugh. <laughs> oh no, he's going to do Skull Woods as well. Okay, this makes sense. <laughs> oh yeah, Hype Cave hasn't been touched. We've been making fun of Hype Cave for so long for not having anything. If this has something in this case, I'm going to laugh. <laughs> Now, these runners also would love to see a Tempered Sword. <laughs> or some Silver Arrows. They don't want to do Master Sword Silverless. I, I, I do understand both runners pushing Crystals right now because they both feel behind. So you don't want to wait on Crystal Dungeons too long. Let's see what Helmasar has. Our container. Third crystal in the ether hunt continues. Finally, I'm gonna go finish up Eastern and get his last his last item up from there, as well as his fourth crystal. Clifford having a little bit of trouble with Mafia, though. Yeah, he gets it down. Yeah. Let's 
Clifford balancing the crystal on his nose. <laughs> or maybe more his head. <laughs> head. It's like sitting like right above, like it's like looking up at it is how I interpret it. <laughs> I still think my favorite animation though is opening up desert and having Clifford like having the sprite howling. Mm-hmm. What's Clifford's next play? Hype Bone cave. to four. This is either Swamp or Hype Cave. I mean, I think he's going to do Hype Cave regardless. I'm not sure which he's going to go after that. They're both fairly viable plays. Yeah, if you feel behind, going for Swamp actually makes a lot of sense right now. Because it's, it's something your opponent might want to wait on. Six items. And that's what Clifford's doing. He's going for Swamp. And Hype Cave still remains unchecked. <laughs> oh, why? Brian's got his fourth crystal. <laughs> I think Clifford might have just thought about that. But I think Phileon's also thinking Swamp and this he's probably gonna check Hype Cave at the same time. <laughs> Did this Hype Cave have anything? Shovel and some red mail. We won't say no to that. He's going to go check Stumpy and that shovel right away. Stumpy is another check you could have had early. <laughs> But it has nothing. <laughs> what about that shovel? There it is! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Alright, Clifford's in go mode. But Phileon's going straight to swamp. He's not checking that shovel. Clifford's got a chance. Yeah. Clifford's gonna gain a lot of time from from beating Go. He's two crystals behind, but he can go mode Swamp and go mode. Well, a go mode Pod's not gonna be much difference. Yeah. He can go mode Ice, yeah. Yeah, the Pod key placement isn't the hottest. Phileon has a two crystal lead. But the longer he... It depends now all on how long he puts that shovel off. If he does a full clear swamp, but... Oh, there's another fetch quest for him. So... Ryan's gonna do a full clear swamp, most likely. Maybe he'll leave left side behind, we'll see. If he goes straight to Shovel after this, he still has the lead, I think. If he puts off Shovel, Clifford's got a good chance to get back. And Clifford's not checking chests. He's going. He's doing this as a full go mode. He's not caring about that Tempered or Silvers right now. I mean, he'll, I'm sure he'll check some chests on the way, but... <laughs> So for those of you who joined us late, let's recap this race quick. Um, 
Basically, early on, they full cleared Light Worlds. They both did Aga, which was not required. Um, and they basically both missed last location their Dark World access. Probably had had a lead for the, for a while, and still essentially does. But Clifford found his go mode first. And so now it's a race. Can Clifford make up the time he lost before Phileon hits go mode? So Phileon needs to take the shovel and dig up the Ether Medallion for his go mode. That's kind of what we're staring down right now. Yeah, Phileon is is doing the is doing the smart play when you want to from go mode. Going to Argus first. For going with sword slashes here, two slashes per puff. Left side of, of, of Swamp will have something. I've seen at least the compass. Both using sword slash strats here. Okay, so looking at Phileon's inventory, there's one item on the left side of Swamp. As Clifford grabs his fourth, or his third crystal. Yeah, so... Yeah, Clifford's gonna be able to probably go into Ice Palace. He'll probably just quickly dash over there real Flute. Or is he gonna do Pod Easter? I mean, both of them kind of make sense. Yeah. Phileon is mirroring. He's not going for the dig spot. He's most likely gonna go do a full clear of ice now. Ooh. All right. Yeah, this is gonna cost him time. This is time that Clifford has to make up. He'll he'll he will go mode ice. Phileon will have to full clear it. But after this, Phileon will be down to overworld checks or a dip into Turtle Rock. And I still understand where Phileon is coming from here. He's still just pushing Crystal Dungeons. Yep. Totally reasonable thing to do. I'd only start really questioning things if he went into TR before turning into that shovel. But one overworld check versus, like, what, five items that are in TR? Is it 5-4? I, I don't remember now. But. Well, the thing is, he's got a concentration of items there. He's got Stumpy, K-45, and the shovel all clustered right there. Clifford in pod. He's gonna basically full clear this. There's really no go mode of pod today. Now, finally, could still get something out of here that's good. If he finds tempered sword or silvers in here, that will save some of the time he's spending. I think he's undecided if he wanted to bomb jump or not. <laughs> yeah. 
Clifford continuing his checks. Finally on Ice Palace bomb jump. In this situation, even if you're one item from go mode, you always do an Ice Palace bomb jump just in case you find your item so you can go straight to the boss. If you're playing to full clear it, it's better to not Ice Palace bomb jump, but in this scenario, yeah, you absolutely do it. There's the big key for Clifford. He's not checking anything. He's heading straight to Helmosaur King. He's got to go through the right side because he needs a small key. Uh, Clifford, you need a small key. <laughs> Ooh, this, um, this might cost Clifford a little time. <laughs> oh, maybe he'd know a small key is right here. It's usually very likely a small key is there. Okay. Chat saying uh, right side didn't have a small key anyway, so. <laughs> Which is actually kind of strange if right side didn't have a small key. So by the way, since we're in Ice Palace, and these two also we're going to have a gentleman's agreement not to use Icebreaker or or Diver Down, but since they're not legal yet until tomorrow for this tournament, uh, it was kind of a moot point. Why is this is a really strange route by Phileon? <laughs> Might have been a, might have just been a little bit of a mistake. Um, check kind of wanting to know what those glitches are. Um. So the icebreaker glitch essentially allows you to clip it through, use basically an extended door state to clip through the that rail that thick railing in uh, the room with the the big key chest, and then diver down is essentially another one that allows you to basically jump onto the water without doing a flipper check, or I don't, I don't know if it's a flipper check, but it basically allows you to walk on the water so you can go through the door without draining it. I wouldn't necessarily say Ice Palace Bomb Jump will be obsolete. No, no like, you're gonna run... If you have a scenario where you're doing Samara... samara -less, Well, Ice Palace without Samaria is when you would want to do that. Um, it's generally... Otherwise, uh, yeah, Icebreaker would be faster. So it's Clifford's fourth crystal. Valian's at five. Clifford's about to go into Eastern as Valian approaches his sixth crystal. I'd say for now, Valian still has a lead, but it depends on what he does after Ice. I mean, yeah, it's a matter of, like, how quickly, how quickly Phylon gets his go mode. If he... Yeah, if he gets it, like, right after Ice, he's got a, a pretty good lead. If, if it eludes him for a while, that's just more time for Clifford to catch up. And he didn't come up with anything in Ice Palace. No silvers, no sword upgrade. So that was just more sunk time, unfortunately. But he is at six crystals. 
And now it's basically between a dip into Turtle Rock or Overworld Check Swarm. I think his first check's gonna be Catfish. He might also check Mushroom while he's over here. I mean, again, the area where Ether is is just appeal. It's still kind of appealing because you've got a cave south of the grove. You've got Stumpy, you've got Shovel Chick, and you've got Bombos all kind of clustered in that area. You could also even bring the purple chest down there. I, I can't see him going to Turtle Rock before he does all that. Let's find out what Catfish had. Maybe he's got our sword. Nope, just money. Clifford's got his fifth crystal. He's on his way to Go Mode Ice Palace. Or he might do Meyer first. We'll see. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Dead rocks, please. If this is the Turtle Rock play. Clifford's about to take the lead. <laughs> that is, this is a really crazy turn of events. Phileon was in the driver's seat for so much of this race, then Clifford found that Ether medallion. Phileon's just continuing to push dungeons, and Clifford is gaining more and more time. Yeah, this is gonna be expensive. And we've got, basically, Clifford is go moding Ice Palace. This is fast. Say he's gonna go straight into Misery Mire after this. The only thing that could help uh, Phileon right now is basically if he gets swords, silvers out of this, and basically there's nothing along Clifford's path, and Clifford's forced to do Master Sword Silverless. Yeah, this is a time sink for finally on beyond that. Man, this is just a cr this is just crazy how this race turns around. For the longest time, it looked like finally on was just commanding this race, and then that happened. <laughs> I mean, looking at, also just looking at the scores, I'll, I'll say this. I believe if Team We're Bad at Team Names wins this, I think they're in a tie for first in the division. Yeah, that would be the case. Like, we'd be perfect if I hadn't failed my team last week, but that's how it is, right? I am a little sore still about how last week went. <laughs> Yeah, it would be if uh, if this if it were to hold. Yes, team were bad. Team names would be in a three-way tie for first. <laughs> I 
Yeah, we'll have to see how things pan out for like the later weeks as the settings get crazier. Now, I keep saying our team would be undefeated if I could play a little faster. <laughs> But no, I'm, I'm not sorry about that at all. <laughs> uh, Clifford picks up his sixth crystal, and he's basically got the lead at this point. <laughs> I think Farleon still has a chance if he goes straight for the dig spot after this. And again, like if he finds a sword in here, that'll at least make up some of the time he spends. Clifford's on his way for his seventh crystal now. The other nice thing about Ambrosia is as you kill each boss, you know you're going to get a chance at the, a sword or those silvers. Right, the, with only two items in Meyer, you're going to get one of them guaranteed. Leave. And yes, uh, Clifford did a bird toss. <laughs> I will. I will say that that was a necessary bird toss. That was. That was definitely not for memes. It was, that bird was definitely in his way, and therefore deserved its fate. Alian is continuing through Turtle Rock. He's going to full clear this. He's going to kill Trinex. Meanwhile, is this going to be a Godmire, or is this going to be a bit of a... You have to take some time to clear it. Well, here's a medallion for Phileon, and it is a Godmire. <laughs> sure what Clifford's doing there. As Phileon is, is just using some fr frustration slashes. <laughs> I think Clifford got a little confused there. Went the wrong way. Um, I was trying to clear that room to get back over here. Finally on him, Laser Bridge, just going to use the cape to get through this. He'll have to skip the last light. There is an item in that chest. Yeah, we'll not get the respite of being able to potentially skip Trinex. Unless he's just going to dip out after this. He opened that door. He's going to leave Trinex behind. Nope. Nope, he uh, just he there's... wanted the safety. <laughs> He's the three hearts. Last thing you want to do is, like, die, right? Yeah, that's fair. Though he does have powder to get some health back right now. But he's got to do a Master Sword Trinex. More, more, more of like a Hammer Trinex, actually. Clifford doesn't have an easy fight coming ahead of him, though. He's got to do a Vitreous fight with Master Sword. He does have cape, so he can use some strats to drain it slower and get multiple slashes on the eyeballs, but he's gonna have a bit of... Well, he's got the bow for the main eyeball. Finally, I'm taking on Trinex as Clifford takes on Vitreous. There's all the magic gone for Clifford. Finally, I spammed some fire rod shots. 
That ice on the floor is really hurting as Clifford's making nice work of the small eyeballs. Very nice. I, I saw it was like so before before the race started, Clifford was practicing this and, and was dying a lot. So I'm glad that he was able to get this boss down. If that's seven crystals. Crystal or er, Clifford's on his way to Ganon's tower. Ain't there a game we play? Yeah, since it's your bot, I think you should start it. <laughs> All right, well, go ahead and get your guesses in 1 to 22. You can guess like 0 or 23 or more if you really want to, but you probably won't win if you do. Uh, tell us where that big key in Ganon's tower is at. Over on Farleon's side, he finished Turtle Rock, didn't get anything out of it. Not even a sword upgrade or silvers or anything. So he is... He's in desperate situation at this point. <laughs> Clifford's got a commanding lead. Yeah. Finally, I just get to that with one heart. Just for a red rupee. <laughs> it's unfortunate. Right. Yeah, Clifford's gonna have to... He's going down this route. I think it's like faster to, to don't go to the dark world from the south. Um, by lifting the rock instead of opening this up if... I'm not sure though. I think like, you go this route if you have to do TR, but if you're not doing TR, then going full Dark World on the way up is... Yeah, I, I've heard that basically it's faster to go through the Turtle Rock portal if it's open. If it's not, then it's about even between the two. Yeah, okay. Now, in something like Enemizer, which we're going to have next week, you might want to use that Southern Portal all the time because... Um, <laughs> It, get, it can get a little messy trying to get up there. <laughs> As Phileon is uh, taking more time checking the north. All right. We've closed guesses. 35 points for the winner. Good luck, have fun, everybody. Start with the shield and the small key. <laughs> what do you know? Oh yeah, going full right. Oh yeah. Well, there's silver arrows. <laughs> I mean, that's gonna... Yeah, I'm not sure like how much Clifford's been practicing this Master Sword Silverless. We'll have to see. Cause that could become like a real factor in this. Um, the only reason why I think he might find at least tempered is just because finally I never found it in Turtle Rock. Yeah, that's fair. Um, there's not a lo lot of other spots for a sword to be right now. I mean, I wouldn't put past this game to put two swords in, in TR or in uh, GT. And according to chat, it's a seven minute lead currently for Clifford, and it's growing by the second. <laughs> and for those of you in chat, the key points of this seed was basically going into Hype Cave to get the shovel to the dig spot to get Ether. <laughs> And finally, I just focused dungeons for a lot of this, which worked out until Ether happened. <laughs> no big key for Clifford yet. I think that's five. It's eleven so far. <laughs> Uh, 
That's 12. As Clifford keeps looking. Finally ends grabbing purple chest. Looks like he's going to mirror and just turn that in straight away. What is in our purple chest? Yeah, we don't... Yeah, we don't have intel on this. Could this be a sword? No. No, not a sword. I'm a little surprised finally went that way, but I think he was... Well, he's going to four. He's going into Dark World again. He could mix Stumpy and the Shovel Check together, along with Cave 45. Alright, we got Rando Room. Th there it is, chest 14. 14. And there's a Tempered Sword for Clifford. <laughs> it's nice he checked the other chests, so... Is it 14? 15? No, it's 15. Right. I'm sorry, it's 15. It's, it's 15. Alright. Wait, wait, sorry. Was it 14 or 15? Uh, well, it just officially is now 15. If, if you had 14, I think I might be sorry there. Huh? It, was no, it 14? No. Was it 15? 12. No, it was 15. It was 15. Because okay. 12 was the room. 13 was the room right before Brando room. 14, 15. Yeah, it is 15. You're right. <laughs> Okay, all right, so uh, I'm not going to have to go fix the database later. That's good to know. But here's Farley. <laughs> oh, okay. my. <laughs> There's Gomo for Farley on. <laughs> he is about 10 minutes behind Clifford at this point. <laughs> I think Clifford's gonna take the safety room here. It's good. It's a good call. It's like it's a couple fairies in there. Probably could have grabbed some magic, but there's a pot in there with a full magic decanter. But he has a he has a green potion, so it should be all right. So Clifford is looking at a standard Ganon fight here for an MG. Temper Sword Silverless. Finally, it might get Temper Sword Silvers, but that by itself is not going to make up nearly enough time. Clifford going through the gauntlet. Here comes the Landmo 2 fight. He's going to have to do a bit of a slower fight because he doesn't have silvers or magic for Fire Rod. Well, finally, has got the big key. He's on his way through a Godmire. He is going to make up a little time on Clifford in here, because of uh, Clifford had a little bit of a weird routing. <laughs> Chat saying this is the truest oops all dungeons. <laughs> um, kind of is. Only one pendant dungeon was required. <laughs> Aga wasn't required, logically. Which Clifford, no. There you go. Answer a question in chat. Uh, Meyer is one of the few dungeons you can get to the boss without a single small key. I believe... I'm trying to just to remember off the top of my head which bosses can have small keys. This one, Ice Palace. There's um, a few. Ice Palace. 
Hera, but of course that's only because the basement of Hera is just a little weird. <laughs> Clifford not opening any more chests, he's fine with Tempered Sword Silverless. With Silver Arrows, Firelands also going to have a faster Vitreous fight. And there's his seventh crystal, he's on his way to Ganon's Tower. You know, finally, it has some chances to make up some time, but it's looking like it's going to be too little too late. Yeah, this is pretty grim looking, unfortunately, for finally on. We got Aga 2 for Clifford. A double. That's an okay start. Oh, that's a nice start. That's a nice pattern set up there. We got two out of it. That's what we call the triple double. Something like that, triple double, double triple. <laughs> they kind of get used interchangeably. <laughs> now it's just a Ganon fight. It, like I said, it's an it's an NMG fight essentially. Tempered Sword Silverless. Something Clifford is more than get comfortable with. Big still has a green potion. Should be in pretty good shape. Think you're so smart? Oh, I didn't know. Thanks, Ganon. Yeah. Now, Nerves probably gotta be hitting Clifford right now because... Well, I'm not sure if Nerves would be the right word, but... He he hasn't seen Phileon Dot done yet, so... He's gotta be thinking through his mind, What did Phileon do? <laughs> because... He's just remembering... When you get to this point in the seed, you're just thinking about everything you screwed up in the seed. And how your opponent could have done it better. <laughs> he went uh, two cycles on phase one, one cycle phase two. And... The warp's been pretty friendly here in phase three. Maybe. We are in phase four. He'll get the info that they were in Light World. <laughs> Gets it. Gets the torch glitch. Now it's twelve spins. Spin one. Spin two. Three and four. It's a nice rhythm here. Basically, you're just like juking the bats out of the way, and then. Once he's fired your bats before he warps, you just want to give him a spin. There's a three. There's basically like a three uh, frame window, but if you cause him to turn blue, he doesn't register any damage. That was a dangerous spin. There we go. He's about halfway done. Three spins left. Oop, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> and there we go. Clifford, the big red dog, has finished this SOR race in first place with an official time of 1 hour, 43 minutes, 52 seconds. Get your GGs in chat.
Yeah. Oh. And officially, Team War Bad at Team Names moves into a tie for first. <laughs> Three way tie. Alright, and we are joined by Clifford GG. G thanks. That. What? I'm pretty sure that's what you were, like, thinking for, like, the last hour 45. I was so tilted for the last, yeah, hour and a half of that seed. Like, I didn't even stop my timer. Like, you can see my timer's still running to this, like, spoiler alert. It keeps running for the next 10 minutes. Oops. And, yeah, finally I just found his GT Big Key and Master Sword. Oh, yes, that was a, like, a really, I almost mirrored out of that room. I got really close to mirroring out of that room. Oh, uh, that would have been annoying. And then, then I thought, you know, wait, I need a Tempered Sword. I should check these other two chests. Yeah. So, both of you did Aga 1, which wasn't required. Man, you ever triple dip Eastern Palace? I think <laughs> that's the first time I've ever had to triple dip Eastern Palace in a non-key sanity Adventure. I actually did this today in the uh, in the weekly open. <laughs> um, I can say more about that off stream, but yeah, the weekly open today was a little bad. Or not, well, not open, but the weekly casually. Weekly, yeah, yeah. Man, that was that was something. And then I got that that lamp, and I thought, oh, there's only one answer. It's got to be Aga from here. Like, I've played five or six of these and four of them have all been aga seeds so that's par for the course let's go beat aga gotta be moon pearl on the pyramid right like nope actually it's a long convoluted chain to go up death mountain and get the pearl out of spiral cave at like 40 minutes i thought i'd like oh it was so bad i mean that hook shot was pretty well hidden yeah, that was a ridiculous spot for the hook shot. And, you know, of course, uh, the the hint, the hint, the boots are on Death Mountain throws off my early game for, like, okay, now let's go straight up the mountain and see what's there. Well, now we're up the mountain. We might as well go down South Shore and see what's there with these bombs and try to get to the village with boots. Completely forget about the bottle. Oops. The whole early game was so bad. So Clifford, so we said about everything that kind of went, he felt like went wrong. What do you think went right? I feel like being on Master Sword the whole game, my execution was on point. Uh, and when I decided to flip the switch and like right, right at Swamp Palace, I decided I switch, I'm going to flip the switch. I'm going to start go-moding dungeons because I've got to be 10 minutes behind. There's only one way I'm going to catch up, and that's to start taking risks. And then I was about to go-mode Swamp, and I thought, you know, Hype Cave's there. I'm only looking for the medallion. If it's in Hype Cave, uh, then I really can have the peace of mind. And as soon as I opened up the shovel, I thought, well, now there's four checks over there. It's really only three, but in my mind it was four because Bombos. Uh, and then I went over there, and then I was like, oh, go mode. Well, I guess now I have the peace of mind, and it's time to, like, flip the switch. I felt like from there on, uh, things went well. Is that, is that when you kind of started feeling better, or you always felt like... No, I, okay. I was like, this race is over. I have lost uh, the whole time. When I, even after finding Bombos, I was, as I was going through Meyer, I'm like, all right, where's the dot done at? All right, I'm in Ganon's tower. Where's the dot done at? Wait, I've got the big key. I'm climbing the tower. How is this race anywhere remotely close? What, what is going on? And how much? Yeah. So, how much do you think the uh, the part of Ambrosia where uh, bosses have a non-dungeon item kind of played into your decision making? Lots, definitely lots, because I figured I would luck into a sword on the way or the the tablet like or the medallion i figured like when i was flipping that switch it's like well at least there's that uh like 
a hammer on blind. What is this? What is this world where, like, there's a hammer on blind and we don't even, like, we're not even talking about that as the, the thing that happened in the seed. That's just, like, an afterthought at this point. Well, we were really thinking that we'd be staring down, uh, like a hammer go mode. Like, you'd, you'd come across, like, either medallion first, potentially. That was a possibility. Yeah. Yeah, and if, like, Hype Cave would have been checked earlier, and that would have led you over there. I don't know, like, Hammer wasn't terribly well hidden, so there was that. Everything, like, after the Moon Pearl seemed okay. It was everything before getting the Moon Pearl that was just ridiculous. I'll say that's the word ridiculous. Was the floating island Samaria or was it uh, Burna? Did I just go up there for Burna? Okay. Yeah. Samaria was. My TV, uh, the colors aren't the best on it. And oh. uh, I remembered that I saw a cane, but I didn't look at it long enough to figure out what color it was. Uh, oh. and then I went, I was like, oh, I need to go get that cane. And then before I could menu to see if I got the right one, I picked up the other one. And I was like, oh, well, I might have made the right decision. All right, that makes more sense. I thought maybe you just wanted it. No, I didn't use it at all. That was... That's fair. All right, Vileon's working his way through phase three right now on Ganon. Ooh, nice. Yeah, he has silver arrows. There's no way anything bad can happen, right? Don't don't say that. Oh Where wait. Where were the silvers at? <laughs> they were in Light World. So, oh. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> I think I'm thinking that um, Cyanac might have. That cynic kind of uh, checked the SRL when Byland finished. <laughs> I may have had some insider knowledge on that one. Boo. Um, Silver's so on Graveyard Ledge. Graveyard, okay. Graveyard Ledge, a place I swore not to check as soon as I went back for King's Tomb after doing the Blind Aga tree. Yeah, we don't know where the fourth sword was. Never saw that. <laughs> There's not many places left it could have been. <laughs> I mean, tile room? Tile tile room? I almost did tile room first, because that's how behind I was feeling. Yeah. Tile room, behind Ice Armos, um, up on top of Gans Tower. Yeah, there yeah, it was kind of limited at this point. We've seen most of the seed. We saw all dungeons. We yeah, we saw most of the overworld. It's like Bombo's Tablet, I guess, is like another place. All right. Finally out on phase four again. Two arrows in. Just don't play with my heart, finally. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay. Really? Like, that was that was pretty brazen. I appreciate that. All right. Hey, there's the end. Uh, finally, I finished this at one fifty-three twenty-seven. <laughs> Yeah, get your GGs in chat for him. We'll see if Pylion wants to come in for an interview. I'm going to probably think yes, but we'll confirm. That. Oh, no, he's here. All right. Hey, Pylion. GG. Hi. Hello, friend. So, uh, Ninban taught me a strategy, which is if you make a big mistake in the end game, what you do is you just say, yeah, I took a Ganonfall on purpose because I wanted to redo my phase one because I didn't like how I did it the first time. 
<laughs> Makes perfect sense to me. Yeah, totally. I'll I'll accept it. So how about that hook shot? Um yeah, the one time I ever do um aga before exhausting every single check I possibly can. The one time <laughs> Hey, you got the Quake Medallion. It looked so cool sitting there on the pyramid. Uh, yeah, uh, you know what? You know what Quake is great for? Going Check into Turtle Rock? Rock. That's, that's not as great. Uh, yeah, I mean, you guys probably guessed uh, correctly after the Aga Tower didn't work out and kind of with everything else going poorly. Uh, Clifford, you don't know this. I didn't go into Thieves Town for a long time. I Ooh. cleared a ton of stuff around it, including Magic Bat, because I hate doing Thieves without Hammer, even in Ambrosia. Yeah, I just wanted the. I was. I felt like I was so far behind. I was just like, I need to do this dungeon. And then after I got through the front four, it was like, oh, that's that's simple, cool. Yeah, it turns out I should have dipped front four first at least because i had the mirror and i should have just dipped front four and then said oh well i guess i'm doing thieves anyways yeah out of all of the other stuff that's what i said it was like we got we got what four minutes into the interview before we even talked about the hammer on blind so like what what kind of seed is that when that's the afterthought like and not the the lead yeah this was I'm just so confused because it, it gave us all these things for Aghanim and then it like even the pearlless mirror or pyramid check which was like sphere 2 wasn't yeah. worth anything that was my main driver for for Turtle Rock oh uh, that I makes mean, partly sense it was, oh I feel really behind and partly it was I can do 8 overworld checks or 6 checks in TR plus Mimic Cave uh that Quake Medallion is setting off alarm bells everywhere. I'm going to go there. I decided that I was going to go mode all the Crystal Dungeons because I felt way behind and it, I was only looking for Ether. And so I started doing that and then I got to Swamp Palace and I thought, wait, I need to go to Hype Cave because then if it's in Hype Cave, I'll feel really stupid after I go moded Swamp or whatever. Or I won't feel stupid, but you know what I mean. Yeah. But I did it anyway. And I got the shovel, and I thought, well, now I got three checks with Stumpy and 45, and now the shovel spot. Let's go there before Swamp. And then, oh, hey, oops, go mode. I guess I'm really go moding all these things. I hope I find a sword on the way. Yeah, we don't need swords. I mean, I did like where that sword showed up, but... It was really nice. I almost mirrored out of that room, too, without getting it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, my after I got out of TR, my decision-making was kind of start at the worst spots. So I did Catfish, then I did Graveyard Ledge where I got Sword, and then eventually I made my way back to that shovel spot. Um, Makes sense. But, eh, you know. I, I want to say, ah, Rando's gonna Rando, but I also didn't love my execution, so I would have felt bad if I won with some of those plays tonight. I triple dipped Eastern Palace. When was the last time you triple dipped Eastern Palace, Filian? Um, oh, gosh, uh, I was ten. I was <laughs> playing the game for the first time, <laughs> leaving to get more fairies. God, you know you don't have to leave the dungeon to get more. Fairies. Yeah, I, I know that now. <laughs> I thought I the see what... were for decoration. I was ten. Okay. What he did was he went to Easter and then he didn't realize he could do it, so he went over to Kakariko. So he knew he knew where the bug net was that he could catch fairies with, got it there, went back to Eastern. You know, you got the hundred rupees in the in the front of the dungeon, you can leave to go buy the bottle with, come back. It all makes sense. Yeah. Um so wait, how did you end up triple dipping Eastern? Like okay, did you leave? I got the lamp and I saved and quit. And I went to Aga. Yeah. Because I thought, okay, it's 50 50. The moon pearl is either still in Eastern 
or it's on the pyramid. And if it's still in Eastern, then I'm like still three minutes behind Filey. And so I need to do something that pulls me ahead. I didn't even consider desert as being a play at all because I'd already been to desert once and was sad oh, about no, it. No, no. See, I put desert off for a long time because I was like, before we were out of escape, I was like, this is an Agassiz, which means we're getting early lamp. So I'm not going to desert until I've got that lamp. Yeah, see, I, I went to desert early and I got the sword and then I left. And then, yeah, after the lamp, I just was like, all right, time to go to New Aga. That's the next thing on the list. If the Moon Pearl's still here, I'm still losing, so it doesn't matter. I'll come back in a minute. Then I came back in a minute anyway, and then I went to Desert after that. And then back to Eastern to give the Green Bend to Sahasrala. It was all around the world with the with Rando. Yeah, the other thing I'll say before we wrap up here, um, yeah. and Clifford, you may share this. Um, for everyone out there watching, don't race against people you've done one mind and co op and multi world. Oh my God, with. the mind because, games. Like... like, there is no one whose race I understand better than Clifford. And he probably knows my racing better than anyone else. And you just try to get in his head for the whole run. And you're doing that instead of worrying about playing the game. It is a nightmare. I look forward to sitting in a voice chat and watching this back. <laughs> By the way, um, I will say your gentleman's agreement was art, was honored. <laughs> yeah, well, we didn't need it. It was, it was all fine anyway. I mean, I didn't have the hookshot when I went up there anyways. Nope, me either, actually. No. That was the second time I went up the mountain. Oh, oh man, if he'd been racing tomorrow, I would have pulled out some of that hot Samaria tech all over this game. Oh, that was good times. Thank you all for commentating. I am really looking forward to watching it back. Good Clifford, times. I'll just, I'll just I, I might watch it back for the commentary. Uh, certainly not for the gameplay, but <laughs> thanks for no, that, guys. Uh, I will say I'm sorry in advance. Oh, it's fine. Oh, well, now sure I want to watch it. Sure, it's great. I'm sure, they're not writing me off at, from like four minutes in because of all my horrible, horrible routing decisions at, off the bat. But anyway, I'll jump out of here. Let y'all wrap up. Thanks again so much for the commentary. Y'all have a great night. Oh, yeah, this uh, this seed uh, ended up giving me mirror shield. So thanks, Merc, for tracking. Oh, yeah. yeah. Shoutouts to Merc for tracking also. Yeah, shout outs to Mer. Shout outs to our two runners here, Phileon and Clifford. Somebody get a, an exclamation R in chat here for them. Yeah, and Merc for tracking. And uh, I think we're done for races tonight. I don't think there's anything else for the league tonight. But there's a whole bunch of stuff on the schedule for tomorrow. We've got five races on the schedule for tomorrow. Last five of this week. Starting at 110 Eastern. Actually, it's a pretty packed block. Uh, five five races starting within a 90 minute span. Oh boy. Um, I will say one of the ones I am looking forward to the most tomorrow, which um, it's going to actually be on Speed Gaming, uh, is actually Gis Giselle Shaft versus Wolther. Looking forward to that because I believe this is Giselle Shaft's return to Ranto. I've been seeing a lot of that. It's like a. So people that we haven't seen in a while playing rando just coming back for the league. It's like it's a team aspect, right? You gotta play with friends. So Yeah. So I've been I've been looking forward to seeing her again and then it's that's actually a, a, probably the top match of the day anyway. That's a pretty good one. Um GFE versus Humbug though will also be pretty good. And we also got Lumaga versus Technolink, Reg versus Cascade Hope, and Ben Creighton versus Fant. <laughs> And that will wrap up week two. We start into week three, which is Enemizer week. Oh, Enemizer. Reason like full shuffle. They just shuffled uh, enemies, so no unkillable thieves nonsense to deal with, at least. Yeah, we'll talk about more about Enemizer week when it comes up next week. Shit, we didn't. Uh, we didn't ask. I didn't ask. Uh, we did not ask. Uh, <laughs> I was saying, shoot, we did not ask the, the guys 
their um what they were planning to do. And I kind of uh, I cut, cut a couple of my words off badly. <laughs> um, <laughs> I did not say what you think I said. <laughs> I heard nothing. <laughs> So I think yeah. we'll just wrap it up here. Yep, uh, let's wrap it up before I say anything else stupid. <laughs> all right. Well, all right. Thanks everybody for watching. I've been Sinak, and I've been joined by. I'm JP. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. We'll we'll see you again tomorrow. <laughs> Good night.